So your assignment number one will be available on the 29th of August 2024. And the deadline is the uh, 2nd of September 2024. So you basically have about three days, if I'm not mistaken, okay? I haven't checked the calendar. Okay, so if you have three days, you can do your assignments between the 29th and the 2nd of September. You'll have one attempt for all your assignments. If you miss this one, there is no or elective for this one. That means you lose 5% of your final uh, mark, okay? Uh, the second one is gonna be available on the 12th of September 2024 to the 16th of September 2024. Uh, this one, your self-assessment number two has an elective. So if you miss this one, you can do uh, assignment number six, okay? So they'll basically use your assignment number six instead of assignment number two. If you haven't gone through your tutorial letter, please note that there are only five compulsory assignments, but you can do all nine and they will take the highest mark for the assignments that have electives, okay? So basically what that means is if you do both assignment number two and assignment number six, the highest mark between those two will be the one used to calculate your final mark, okay? Uh, but if you do the first five and pass all of them well, you don't have to do the last four. Or uh, those ones are just electives, okay? So basically, your uh, second assessment will be available on the 12th to the 16th. Your third one will be available on the uh, 26th of September to the 30th. And the fourth one will be available on the 10th of October to the 14th. And the last one, uh, among the compulsory ones, okay, will be available on the 24th uh, of October to the 28th of October, okay. Uh, you must always take note of the uh, learning units that are covered uh, per assignment. For example, for assignment one, you need to focus on learning unit one to three. For assignment two, you need to focus on learning unit uh, one to five. I think they made a mistake here. It's supposed to be one to five, not one to four. Okay, for the second one. For the third one, it's supposed to be one to seven. So basically everything that you, you would have done here can be tested uh, on later assignments, okay? So you keep on adding your knowledge and anything or everything that you would have covered up to that point can be tested as you proceed, okay? Okay, and then, and so on. So the last four, these ones are your electives. And you must take note of the fact that you'll only have one day to do them. So uh, assignment number six, you'll have uh, between the fourth and the fifth to do the assignment. Uh, the assignment number seven, you'll have between the fifth uh, to the sixth. And you must actually uh, note that these ones, you'll have a span of about uh, four days to do them. Okay, let's say five days to do all these uh, five electives. So it is better to actually do the compulsory assignments and avoid these ones here because you might not have time. Remember, you have other uh, modules that will have deadlines maybe during those days, okay? So try to avoid having to do electives. But if you try and fail when you do your compulsory assignments, it is okay to always do the electives to make sure that you get a distinction for this module. This module is supposed to be one of the easiest that you do at Vasiti and you're supposed to acquire this information with ease, okay? But don't worry, we are going to try our best to help you pass this module, okay? So I think that is basically all that you need to cover in terms of the overview, okay? Uh, another thing that you must be careful or must take note of is the fact that uh, the questions, okay, the questions for each assignment are different for different students, okay? In some assignments, you'll have easier questions than others. In some assignments, you'll have uh, difficult questions than others, okay? But they are basically different for all students. Uh, but even though they are different, you need to know that they test the same principles, okay? So, so yeah, I think we are done with this. Uh, let us now try to do the self-assessments, okay? 
watch the next video to do uh, the self assessments to unlock assignment number one